Hunter here from AlbertaGardener.com. Just wanted to show you the setup I have for my fall garden in the greenhouse. And hopefully winter garden too, actually. We'll see how long I can keep it lasting here. Uh, it's pretty hard in zone 3 during the winter. It gets down to minus 30 sometimes. and we'll, A lot of times we'll have weeks where it's minus 20 Celsius. So I imagine it's going to be pretty tough to keep these guys alive. That being said, here's what I've done so far. First off, I put up a tarp to make it a little brighter in here with the white color. I was actually using it as a shade cloth earlier in the summer. It worked great for that. So I hope it'll... It, it seems to be brighter in here. When the sun's out full, you can really tell. But it's a little cloudy today, so it's not so much. Uh, I just held it to the top with clothespins and uh, on the side with a rope. Pretty, it was a pretty easy setup, took about 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, then I put up uh, this little tent. It's just a four by four plastic tent that came with one of the raised beds that I got. Uh, it's been okay too. I haven't had any problems with it. It's been below zero a few times now and it hasn't got below zero inside there. Well, it was inside here in the greenhouse uh, before that. I almost lost some of my plants, actually, because they got pretty cold. And then all that I have left to do, really, is I have to put some more plastic around the inside of the window to make sure that the draft doesn't come through, and same with the door behind me. But uh, I also took out the shelf because the lower sun, I noticed that it was really shading the back of this tent when I first put it up, so I took down the shelf. It was just running across here. Um, the for the floor, I used, I don't know if you can see it very well here, through the side. Try to get down there. It's just two pieces of, um, foam insulation. They're, I think, an inch each thick, and I stacked them up because it was cheaper just to buy a 4 by 8 sheet, and I figured the more the merrier. That should keep some of the heat coming through the floor, or some of the cold coming through the floor down. And I just tucked the tent around underneath the the corners of it. Uh, I put in a bunch of different buckets full of water and some pop bottles and some milk jugs for a heat sink. And it's been working so far. I got a few more I got to paint up yet and put in here. But, I mean, these ones have been working great so far. It hasn't been that cold, though. Maybe minus three or four and that's it. So, I'm a little worried that it's going to get a little too warm or a little too cold in there pretty quick it's supposed to go down to minus 20 next week it's 20 minus 20 celsius next week and yeah i don't think that's going to be good in here i also put some bubble wrap for insulation it goes around the outsides and just right here for now i'm going to get more i ran out so i have to buy some more to do the rest and uh, oh, and another thing I'm going to do is I got this idea from Gary Pillark uh, at the Rusted Gardener channel. He's got some great tips. I'm going to drill a hole in here and drop in an aquarium heater so that the water will always stay above freezing, which should then keep everything in here above freezing. And speaking of what's in here, let's just take a quick look. Here's some of the lettuce that I planted. I, sh I showed you guys a picture of that and talked about it on the website before it's, it's doing pretty good that one in the back is doing especially well uh the spinach is just here got these two in the back were the first two to come up they've been doing great and this one's been doing good too it's just a little slower because it's been growing in colder temperatures and over here i have the radishes they're doing okay like they i haven't had a problem they're just growing slow i noticed in the spring when i planted them too they were growing really slow and here is my strawberry plant that I found in with the marigolds about halfway through. I thought I'd lost all of them, but I found that one in with the marigolds about halfway through the summer and moved it to its own pot and it's been doing great. Got a bunch of little strawberries off of it. The only problem with that is it's supposed to be hardy here in um, zone 3, but I found that they've never overwintered for me. So I figure if I put it in here, in this greenhouse thing, maybe it will actually. We'll see. I don't know. Depends if I can keep that thing, if the heater idea works or not. I think it will. It seems like a solid idea. Keeping the water warm will keep everything around it warm. So if we can seal in the warmth with the 
bubble wrap and the extra plastic there and if it warms up during the day I think it'll be fine I don't I'm not expecting it to die but it all rests on that aquarium heater <laughs> which I still have to go get today that's it I hope that you enjoyed the video if this doesn't work out so well this might be my last video of the year so I mean I guess we'll see as the time comes but uh, have a great weekend and keep on gardening